Hello and welcome. My name is Eamon Killian. Um, I've worked in the IT area now for about 27 years. In particular, over the last few years, I've been working with uh, managed service providers and software as a service companies and even some web development and digital media agencies. And what I've been doing is basically helping them to leverage the cloud or to get into the cloud or indeed to convert from their existing in-house IT and data centers to using platforms that are in the cloud to expand their businesses. Um, working with those companies, I often get asked, how do we, you know, how do we get started with hybrid services? How do we start leveraging what's out there on the net so that we can expand our business far quicker and indeed maybe even save cost from the point of view of leveraging the economies of scale from the big providers. So I thought I would do a series of video tutorials that would help my customers get more informed on what they can and can't do within the cloud. Um, the basis for this will be software. Um, as you can see, we're on the software.com home site and it describes very well in great detail the services that they have on offer from their platform right the way through to some development programs that they have available. Um, I guess what I'm going to do over the series of videos is go from the very very simple which today's tutorial will be on literally how to get started because I get that question a lot how do we actually get started get registered with software and then start leveraging what it's got right the way through um, showing how you can achieve uh, setting up you know virtual machines uh, object storage um, capturing flex images which is one of the really cool features of software um, to you know re-registering or aiming your uh, CN domain names to uh, software once you've moved your services uh, how to connect through FileZilla and CyberDuck. So, you know, we're going to have some fun over the next few weeks trying to get through how you can actually leverage software. So today is all about a very quick and simple, how do you actually get started? How do you get on the website as I am here and register and start using the service? So it's maybe not as in your face as some of the other cloud providers, but down in the left hand corner here, is a try it for free option where you can get a virtual server for free for one month and then you can start to learn about the service use the software APIs again I can't emphasize enough how fantastic the methods and classes available within the API are uh, to give you complete control as a managed service provider of the entire infrastructure so getting started with a free server will allow you to start doing that so we're going to click on getting started. That's going to take us to a page where you can get some more information. Uh, you can also, one of the great features of software is live chat to an agent. And in this instance, it would be a sales agent, but once you have an account, you can actually talk uh, and have a live chat with a support agent. So you can click to chat to an agent if you want to learn some more about the actual service and what's on offer. Um, or we're going to click it, try it for free. Once you click try it for free, there we are. Brings you to what we would all recognize as a standard registration page. So I'm going to start registering here for the service. Feel free to get in contact on that email address if you have any questions at all about getting started with software. Um, I'm going to use uh, Sherlock Holmes address just for the purposes of the demo here. Select your country. and then select your payment method.
as you can see here, we've been asked, do we want to chat to the agent? So that will happen. That will happen quite regularly when you're on the site. We'll say no for now. <clears throat> so once your account information is all stored, you then need to select a data center. And Softlayer is a global organization. Uh, they're part of the IBM Corporation now. And they have many, many data centers on offer. I'm going to go with uh, Amsterdam and then choose your operating system. I'm going to go with CentOS 6.x. It'll probably be 6.5, minimal installation. Give yourself a host name. And I'm just going to use for now the software.com. As I said, I'm going to cover in another video how you can actually link your um, domain name to software in one of the other videos that we'll do. So that's pretty much it. Um, I'm going to get a CPU, 2 gigahertz CPU virtual machine with a gig of RAM, 25 gig of storage, plenty of compute there to run a website, probably 20 or 30 websites in parallel, so long as the uh, throughput or click-through isn't too high. Um, we're going to get a promotional discount, so we're getting the first month for free, and then it's going to be $27.60 a month thereafter, um, plus VAT. We're going to submit the order. And once that's verified, you will get a confirmation of the order. And this is where you can actually have a look at the Software Master Service Agreement. I think I had it up earlier on another screen, which looks like this. And you can read the Master Services Agreement at your leisure. Um, click to agree and order. And that's pretty much it. And once your order is set, um, you will get a confirmation email and then there'll be a gap of about an hour, an hour and a half while they authorize the service. And then you will get another email from software confirming that your virtual machine is available. Um, and those emails will contain your software um, username and password so you can gain access up here to the actual portal to start working with software. I hope this was useful. It's a, just a very quick introduction to how to get started with software. Um, over the course of the next few videos, we'll be going much deeper, as I said earlier, in terms of how to use the service, what to use for certain situations, and hopefully this was of use to those of you out there um, who wanna get in the cloud and wanna start using software. Thank you very, very much. My name's Eamon Killian and uh, thank you for watching this video.